hope everybody made it home safely. <clears throat> Long trip back for us, uh, but uh, had a little issue with the with the the fuel on the plane. But we ended up getting back here here about uh, six or a little after a little after six. But uh, good to get back home and <clears throat> and also to be able to have the victory. Uh, hard hard place to go play and and uh, got a lot of a lot of bad memories from down there so man just uh, really proud of our our guys um uh, for getting getting the getting the victory that's what that's what we went down there to do and and uh you know to get it done is 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 a is a, a blessing our fourth road win uh, really proud of that <clears throat> and uh just again um i i Saw a stat today. Uh, there, there were nine ranked teams went on the road this weekend, and the record was one and eight. <laughs> so we were the only ranked team to go on the road and win. So it just it's hard to win, and uh, <clears throat> so proud of our guys. A lot of good things in the game. You know, again, as I said last night, I think special teams. Um, you know, was just such a huge factor in that game. Uh, you know, the big return, a couple field goals. We stopped the fake. Um, <clears throat> we, uh, you know, uh, just got the, got the ball on the hands team. So, I mean, we just did a lot of, a lot of good things <clears throat> uh, in the game. Uh, from a special team standpoint, I thought we won that part of the game. We won the turnover margin. Uh, <clears throat> we had some explosiveness. Uh, we had a four-play score, three-play score, one-play score. I thought offensively we were efficient, uh, scored for five of our first seven drives. And, you know, good to see Shipley, you know, have a night like that, Maffa as well. Uh, you know, we got back on track. We didn't have a good night third down up at BC. We got back on track 10 of 18 <clears throat> on third and fourth down. Uh, really proud of DJ, just great leadership. Uh, really managed the game well, 65%, three TDs, um, uh, no turnovers was huge in the game. <clears throat> Continue to do a good job in the red zone. And, um, you know, just probably the biggest thing offensively, just some, some critical penalties. I missed a couple plays. Uh, there's always going to be one or two of those in a game, but, you know, just some procedural penalties. Uh, I'm proud of the OL, though, no sacks on the OL. Uh, so, you know, we had one that was on us on just a, a, a last call there to really make them have to, it was either going to be there. Or we were going to run it, <clears throat> not throw it away before the sky point, make them have to use our last time out. And then they, you know, we had one on DJ where he just held the ball and then they, another one shouldn't have been a sack. They, they put it in the sack as a stats, but it was a quarterback draw, not a pass, but they called it in the sack. So hopefully they'll change that. But, you know, OL did a nice job once again uh, from a protection standpoint <clears throat> but uh, a lot, of, a lot of good things, uh, you know, in the game uh, for sure. And then, uh, you know, to come back out in the second half, you know, we got a one play touchdown. And then we have another great drive. We score, but we have a holding penalty, so we have to settle for a field goal. And um, and then we had a we had a uh, they'll make a third and three, so we we have a a punt there. So we only had three possessions second in the in the third quarter, <clears throat> and then the fourth quarter. You know, we got we stopped them on a goal line stand. You got a twenty point lead. You know, you're on the minus four, and um, took a couple shots, didn't hit on them. But um, then we're going on eleven play drive, and um, ended up sky punting them to the five yard line, and uh, and then we're victory. So <clears throat> biggest thing, just just didn't finish the game well defensively in the fourth quarter at all. Uh, probably the biggest disappointment. Um, we, we didn't we didn't start well defense and we didn't finish well the last ten minutes of the game. Got a twenty point lead, ten minutes, and, and um, next thing you know, you got a, an onside kick. But uh, we did a lot of good things defensively. The three stops on downs, the goal line stand. Um, I thought Miles was great. A couple sacks there, and the fumble before the half was huge. I thought uh, Sheridan was was a, a great to get him back. He in twenty. Uh, I thought Nate <clears throat> did a lot of good things. Trotter had 13 tackles. You know, uh, I thought JP played pretty good. You know, uh, we got several guys that are just really consistent. You know, like Tyler Davis, he's just so consistent. Um, but really, just uh, uh, just a really poor job on third down defensively. 
um, and, uh, you know, just missed tackles. I mean, I don't, there's no other way to say it. We had, we had 24 missed tackles, and I don't know when the last time we had that many missed tackles. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, again, just the second and third quarter, we, we dug in and played pretty well, like I expect us to play, but, but really just a, a bad finish, uh, lost our focus, uh, thought we got undisciplined, and uh, just also some penalties as well. But uh, the good news is, is you know, we found a way to win the game and, uh, <clears throat> you know, had some critical, critical plays uh, throughout the night. But just just got to, you know, put people away when we have the opportunity. You know, you, you can't, you can't uh, give up the amount of yards that we gave up in the fourth quarter uh, <clears throat> against good people. So everything is correctable. That's the good news. Some people have bad defensive nights and there's not much they can do about it, but the good news is we can. So, um, you know, excited to get back to work tomorrow and watch the tape and, and keep building. Uh, we've got a heck of an opportunity uh, this, this week, you know, obviously uh, two undefeated teams in the Valley, both want the same thing and that's control of, of, of the division. And that's what's at stake this week. So, um, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a, a great opportunity for us. I know our guys will, will be eager to get back to work, but I, I'm just really proud of them. I mean, again, we, we four road conference games already. I think this is Syracuse's first conference road game. Uh, so it's these guys these guys have 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 had a have bat, have, have been through some battles and uh, not perfect uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but you know we're seven and zero. And there's not many teams out there that can say that. Uh, and just as I said earlier, nine teams go on the road that are ranked, go one and eight, uh, with us being the only one that won. And I just got a great appreciation for that, especially when you when you maybe don't play as well as you would want in some areas, but yet you still find a way to win. And uh, so I think that's what good teams do. Uh, so this is this will be a this will be a great uh, great week um, of preparation and. We came through the game, you know, pretty healthy outside of Matthew Maloney, one of our one of our key special teamers. Um, he he tore his ACL, so he's going to be out. <clears throat> he's and he's he's had one on the other knee. This is this is this was his his good knee that he hasn't hurt before. So you know, really hate that for him. Uh, he's a great kid, and and uh, was starting on about three special teams for us. And, uh, so yeah, that was the, the, the biggest loss in the game. But other than that, you know, um, you know, bumps and bruises and things like that that you would think as you're going into game eight. Um, but, you know, we're in, a, we're in a pretty good spot overall. Any questions? Hi, Coach. It's Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Um, how about Brandon Spector? You know, he, he, lo- he loses his, uh, his starting spot at slot to Antonio Williams. Uh, and then, but then on Saturday, you know, he, he, he goes out and he, uh, not only recovers the onside kick, but he was also the first one in there to stonewall that fake punt. Um, and he's had two touchdowns in the last four games. He's, it seems like he's finding, yeah. finding ways to contribute. Oh, absolutely. And we'll continue to, you know, he's just a red shirt sophomore. Uh, so, you know, it, it, with, with the way, the way his clock is set up and taking the COVID year. So, uh, he's still got a lot of football and he has, he's been a, he's been a factor for us, uh, but. He made a huge difference in special teams the other night. I mean, first of all, Luke Price <laughs> set the edge uh, on that fake, and then but Specter stoned it. You know, he, he really stoned it uh, head on and, and uh, just kind of bottled it up. That was that was a that was a big big play, and so we got a field goal off of the st- off the fake punt. That's three points. We got a uh, <clears throat> touchdown off of the big kick return. That's 10 points, and we had two field goals. So, you know, 16 points right there off of special teams. And, I mean, I'm just just really proud of the guys taking ownership, taking pride, and then then obviously the end of the game, Speck going out there and, and, you know, sealing the deal uh, with the onside, with the hands team. So he he had an outstanding game, and and, I'm really proud of it. Coach, uh, I imagine um, it's got to be pretty nice, um, as 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 consistent and reliable as Bo Collins has been, uh, for for him to be basically be a non factor at least at least from a reception standpoint uh, last night, and to still be able to score thirty four points on the road against a really good defense. Yeah, 
uh, he certainly wasn't a non-factor from a game standpoint. You know, right. Sometimes you at, at receiver, sometimes you have games, you know, where <clears throat> the ball doesn't come your way or whatever. Um, but man, he he did a great job on the perimeter for us. It, it was a big game, getting the ball on the edge, um, you know, with our backs. And man, uh, those receivers took a lot of pride in that. They they did a great job. Uh, he's had some huge plays, and he'll have a bunch of more huge plays. But just kind of how the game went. But uh, I was really proud of, of Bo. He he was. He, he had a huge impact on the game, you know, again, and that's what I tell receivers all the time. Great receivers impact the game without the ball. And, um, you know, everybody sees you when you catch it, but man, there's a lot of things that go on without it. And, and uh, you know, it was a, uh, kind of a different type of game for him as far as <clears throat> not a lot of opportunity to pass the game, but he, he really made a difference being on the field for us. Hey, Coach, Walton hey, uh, Sports uh, Talk. Go ahead, David. That's a a lot. Yeah, so Coach Good was saying after the game about the missed tackles, he said that some guys look like they were a little bit rusty. You you know, some guys just haven't played a whole lot. They're getting back. And then he said there were other guys and and mentioned a few that they they shouldn't be rusty and still missed them. So when you go back and look at it, it, was it angles? Was it failing to wrap up all of the above? What kind of maybe were some of the issues? All the above. Well, the first one on Barrett, you know, he just stopped his feet, you know, and you can't, <clears throat> you got to, he's got to keep his feet active and scallop technique to, to him. He was in a good position. Um, but you know, that guy's, he's too, he's too quick and explosive to, to get your feet in concrete right there. And that's usually not Barrett. You know, he just, he just, you know, he just, it was just a bad miss, but, um, but a little bit of everything. We definitely have some guys who, who've been out and kind of just getting back, um, you know, uh, Mickens has been out, uh, what, a couple games. Uh, T-Bone was out, you know, getting some of those guys back. Um, and um, But just, just some uncharacteristic things. But wrapping up is, huge, is the biggest key, just wrapping up, you know, not trying to just knock people down or shoulder tackle. You know, that's why God gave us arms, right, so we can wrap them up. And, uh, but, you know, definitely, definitely uh, always an emphasis for us, but, it was it was uh, not a good night for us tackling wise, and it and it just you know I mean guys in the hole that where that you know you you get them down right there it's a two yard gain instead it's you know fifteen, and so just some uh, and then we had a couple uh, of times where we just were out of position and didn't have quite maybe the right angle, but um, we'll get it we'll get it corrected. Hey, Coach Lawton Swan, um, you do, you guys do a great job of being up no matter who the competition is, but can you talk about maybe the difficulty in keeping your edge when maybe you've taken control of the game i think you know anybody that's played sports know that that's a, an issue uh, certainly that happens but can you talk about how you guys try to avoid maybe some of what happened last night well it's just maturity you know i mean i think i think it's maturity and and uh <clears throat> leadership you know and guys just staying focused uh, what we talk about all the time you know you don't play to a school board you know whether you're up or down if, if if those things impact your your effort, your intensity, um, you know your performance, then you're never going to be consistent. So uh, that's always been the case, and you know we we uh, definitely have to put people away when we again you got a, a twenty point lead there with ten minutes, and and uh, you know just really poor job, um, you know finishing, and and that's. I mean, we win the game, and that's the objective, but uh, we did some bad stuff, you know, little things, nothing major, just the, just the basics. And I think just sometimes you're dealing with young people, you can, you know, a lot of the fans were empty, the stands were empty, people gone. And, and I just think, uh, you know, some of the guys lost a little bit of intensity. So, unfortunately, sometimes it has it, you, you, you learn from the bad more than you do the good. And uh, so – Hopefully this will be a great learning lesson for those guys if they if they take the coaching. Yeah, but this is Matt. Did you all change anything schematically um, after they had some early <laughs> success in the running game? Well, we just fixed some things and what we're doing on the backside. Uh, you know, we, we just weren't doing a good job on the backside and in uh, getting the backers where they needed to be. We were kind of they were cutting us in half. And, uh, we just fixed some technique things and. Uh, and then really, like I said, came out, played a really good third quarter. 
um, for sure. But just just did not do a good job, you know, uh, the second half, um, you know, getting our hands on some guys. You know, we give up a <clears throat> big cover two play there. Where we, don't, we, don't, we don't collision the, the receiver, just – just some basic things, uh, positioning, some of our zone drops, you know, floating. Uh, but you know, as far as uh, adjustments, really, just just cleaned up some of the mistakes and and uh, you know got better in, in the third quarter and did a good job getting the ball back. And um, offense again was explosive, um, you know, so that that. Uh, was good to see <clears throat> to get the to get the lead the way we did was you know had might have been a negative thing too because you had some you know very quick drive you know four play touchdown you know three play one play and um, you know, might have sometimes the, the, that's great but um, we did not uh, we didn't handle it very well. Coach, it's Trevor again. I'm just curious on on those onside kicks. Um, of which you all have done such a good job over the years. Um, how, how do you, how exactly do you coach them to handle those? Do you, do you tell them to be aggressive and, and try to catch it, you know, before it reaches 10 yards like spec did, or, you know, you see a lot of teams kind of hesitate and wait until it gets 10 yards. And, and then by then yeah. it's, it's a jump ball situation. Yeah. Well, we, we, uh, there's a lot of coaching on it. Actually, and it's actually one of those things that we work on, Every Thursday, uh, every Thursday, I run the drill, uh, something we've done for 14 years. You know, you, you never know when, when you're going to need it till you need it. And uh, <clears throat> so hopefully they're comfortable w- w- with, with those situations just because we do work on it a lot as far as fielding those type of balls. But, um, you know, we, we do want to be aggressive. I mean, front line, you know, we're going we're gonna to handle it if it's, if it's clean, if it's hot. Uh, you know, we're going to let it go and, and our back line guys are going to handle it. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, we definitely uh, want to be aggressive on that front line. You know, we're not sitting on, on our heels, we're on the balls of our feet like a shortstop. And, you know, sometimes it, you have to read the kick. Is If it's a one bounce high, you can fair catch it. Um, but, you know, that's why you don't really see that anymore. You see everybody trying to get it on the ground. So, so you got to have a guy up there that's, <clears throat> you know, ready to, to handle that ball, but you got to make a good decision because again, if it's a, if it's hot and it's not clean, you know, you let it go to the back level and you, and you go block somebody. So, uh, but we work on it every single week, and I think I think our guys are confident uh, in that situation. Hey, coach, it's David again. Uh, Blake Miller, uh, I think Mitchell Mays came in and played 13, 14 snaps. How, how do you think Mitchell did uh, kind of going into relief there? And uh, with Blake, is it, a, is it a confidence thing right now or just maybe some freshman growing pains for him? In what regard? Penalties? Yeah, uh, just, just the penalties. Yeah, just, just, just young and just, you know, he had one. Uh, I mean, he was just being a little too aggressive. He finished the guy on the ground. And they called it unnecessary roughness. And then, you know, we had the one hold. You know, you play offensive line occasionally, you're going to get one of those. But, uh, you know, well, <clears throat> we had uh, – he's had a couple of procedural things. He's just, just young, but he's he's doing a good job. Uh, I mean, he's – but we, we, just, we definitely want to, you know, could get other guys in there. And, you know, Mitchell has really practiced well. And, and uh, you know, Thomas told him he was going in, you know, in the first half for sure. So it's good. He got 13 plays and, and did a good job for us. So I was really, uh, I was really pleased with how he played. That was that was good to see. I think he played some left guard and right tackle for us. Looking ahead to to Syracuse, uh, obviously Garrett Schrader, a threat both uh, the legs and with the arm. They've got Sean Tucker, who's a great running back. Seems like they, you know. They got a future NFL guy in secondary, good linebackers. You know what? What has allowed them to go six and zero so far? Well, Dino's done a great job. I mean, they're 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 a tough bunch. Always are. Um, you know, schematically, they present some problems. They're not they're not big on defense, but they're they're they really understand. You know what they do in their scheme. They're they're a, they're a, they're all over the place. You know. Um, I mean, their biggest guy is probably maybe 270 or something like that, but you never know where they are. They're moving every snap. 
Um, and that's, you know, because of that, because they're not, you know, big, they're, they're, they're going to, they're going to try to create, you know, advantages with a lot of movement. But as you said, they're, they do a good job in the, in the secondary, um, you know, two, two really, really good corners, uh, backers are active, uh, but then they got, they got some elite playmakers. I think anytime you have a great quarterback, you got a shot and they got a great quarterback who's big and strong who's gotten better and better and better, who's now very confident. And, uh, you know, they, they always have had receivers. Uh, they've always had a guy that, that they're going to throw it to. And they got a, uh, a great tight end this year that's kind of a, a slash type of guy who's making a lot of plays. And then, I mean, this back's as good as there is in the country. I mean, he's a, he's a great, great player. Um, but they, uh, they do a good job, man. Dino's done a great job. And, you know, so excited about the opportunity and, and, hard to really hard to believe uh, as long as they've been playing football here in the Valley, that, that it's the first time ever to have two teams six and zero or better, you know, facing off in the Valley. That's, that's really hard for me to believe, but um, you know, what a, what a great matchup. And uh, you know, man, it's uh, we're going to need our fans big time uh, to show up early. Everybody get up, tape your ankles and, and, uh, and grab a biscuit and let's go. Uh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a great day. Yeah, well, I know you've talked a lot about uh, how much DJ's improved this year, and, and a lot's been uh, made about that. But with 21 touchdowns now and two interceptions, I mean, do you feel like he's playing about as well as anyone in the country right now at quarterback? I don't think there's any question. I mean, his, you know, I mean his his what he's providing uh, for our team. I mean, just great leadership. You know, excellent decision making. He, he's so coachable. I mean, this guy, he he truly prepares like a pro every single day. I mean, he is a great preparer. He loves it, um, and I, I'm I'm really really proud of him. I mean, he is he's been awesome. And you know, again, to be on that in that environment, you, boom, you're down seven nothing right away, and you go right out there, man. He steps up, makes an unbelievable. You know, just nice play in the, with poise in the pocket and great throw to Antonio for a big play. And, you know, he's just demonstrated a lot of, lot of, lot of determination, a lot of toughness. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm just really, really happy for him and proud of him. I mean, he's got great command of what's going on and, and he's just in a really good place. And, you know, um, happy that, that he's been able to have the success. It's good to be 7-0, and but I promise you his – his goals are, are higher than, than, uh, you know, than, than where, than being seven Oh. So, um, he'll be, uh, he'll be ready to roll this week. I know you spoke last night about wanting to get the ball on the perimeter and get the ball to the backs. Uh, can you elaborate just a little bit on what, what y'all saw where you felt like you had some matchup advantages there? Well, they're just big, you know, big, big dudes up, up front and side. And I uh, just wanted to have to make them run a little bit. See if we could create a little little tempo through that, which we did, um, <clears throat> and just you know wanted to get get those backs you know with the ball in our hand. We felt like we had some grass opportunities with how they played. We we're going to have to hold up on the perimeter with our blocking, which we did. Uh, so it was good to see good to see us execute. Uh, and I thought DJ was very accurate, you know, with those plays um, and, and allowed those guys to really be runners. On a, on a bunch of plays. Uh, we had a third down screen, incredibly accurate with the ball, you know, because if you're off just a little bit, now there's hesitation, you got to stop the feet, you know, whatever. And, you know, those are bang, bang type plays, some of them. But, um, you know, just wanted to, wanted them to have to come tackle us in space um, and uh, kind of loosen them up. And then we were able to pop pop some things on the inside. You know, a, lot of, a lot of good plays, um, you know, for sure. Anyone else for coach? All right. Thank you, coach. Thanks, coach. Okay.